Hello everyone, this is the Intrepid Positron, and thank you for once again entering the Nostalgia Nexus where we are playing Tales of Symphonia. Uh, and actually the 80s, so we are in... We're in yeah, we're, we're basically in Daris Carlon at this point. Um, and we have got the mana fragment that we needed to cure Colette's sickness. Um, and now we've got to find a way out, <laughs> which is going to be tough. Hey, look at that. A giant transporter, perhaps? Maybe we use the ground. Uh, I can hope. Well, let's not go that way yet, though. Um, I mean, there's still probably lots of this to explore around here. Uh, why are there humans? It is outside my understanding. I must inquire about this. Okay. Those look like recharging units. Wait, Lloyd, we should be more efficient. Oh. Alright. This is. Like, you tell, like, like. Food or something? It's a mirror. Why are there two. Wait. This was That's weird. What else we got? Um, a human. Since I have not received any order to capture you, you are irrelevant. Alrighty then, that, uh, all the better for me. You wait for your orders. Meanwhile, I will go and discover what in the world all this stuff is about. Which I might not be able to do anything with yet because I haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do next. But right now, I'm just exploring. Explore, explore, explore. That's what the RPG player does. Why does not having Lord Yggdrasil and the World per uh, pro Prolongation Project? Since Lady Martell's revival is, is yet uncertain, now may not be the time. I see. The revival of Lady Martell is essential to the creation of the Age of Half-Elves. The World Prolongation Project must continue or uncertainties will increase. Alrighty then. Um, clothes are meaningless. One becomes an angel, one no longer feels heat or cold. And yet you still wear clothing. Okay, that was weird. Uh, a good thing, because I need to... I really do need the refresher. Um, I have lots of, uh, of money right now, so that's good. Okay. That was important. I need to do that before I got anything else. And I think one of these machines will probably sell me weapons, because that would be awesome. Um, it would be nice to have... Ooh, mission to another. the use. Oh. Uh, great prosperity leads to the possibility uh, of the possible development of magic technology, which causes meaningless war. Oh, okay. So they actually want to keep the two um, civilizations at a, a, as a as a primitive as they possibly can, so that they don't commit war or commit war, uh, participate in war with uh, higher t uh, amounts of technology. Oh right, that's the one I just read. Eternal Sword. The magic sword was given to the leader Yggdrasil when he formed the Pact of Origin. Its immense power is able to control time and space, it's said to be the source of the leader Yggdrasil's power. The leader, the leader Yggdrasil was able to split the world with the power of the Eternal Sword. If this sword were to be lost, the leader Yggdrasil's power would diminish, and Volgaia would surely face its doom as well. So in other words, we had to go form a pact of origin. We've obtained some very valuable information. Lloyd, we shouldn't stay here long. Let's hurry and get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Not yet. 
We're not done yet. What's this? Looks like some kind of information terminal. Terminal. It's useless. It won't start up. Really? <laughs> of course. Beep. Oh, it started up. That's our Colette. I'm so glad I didn't break it. A terminal to the surface is located in the center area. Please use the emergency route located in the rear of the idea district while it's under maintenance. So in other words, that. Okay, let's go to the terminal that leads to the surface. So in other words, that's how I get out of here. I want to go see if there's more I can do here first. Cool. Can't complain too much about that. Um, not very useful. This might just do the same thing, but still, I want to check it. Check it out. Yeah. All right. So these are just ways of recharging. If your uh, function is impaired, you use this refresher. All right, I'm good for now since I've just used it twice. I, I don't know, cell growth has probably increased too much and we are already in trouble. <laughs> All right, um, what else do we have here? Oh, I don't know why I thought there were stairs there for some reason. There was no reason to really think that. Okay, let's go do other things first. Go see. I doubt we can take this route. Wait, show your identification. Ga ident identification again. You, 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 you're human. He's being transported to an experiment. Excuse us. We don't have any identification. Right, they're half elves. I keep on forgetting that. We don't have any identification. There's no choice. Let's use that emergency route. Okay. Uh, first, let's see if we can actually work the elevator at all. Because if we can, I don't see any reason not to. Outside of, like, hurrying to finish the game. But I'm not in that much of a hurry. You were already on that floor. Alright. Second floor. Looks like I can use it. Alright, so there's more stuff to explore here. Um, I've heard one of the leaders handled the seat of origin by Lord Eugaziel's orders. I wish I could receive that level of trust. A design class and a lower class angel t uh, taking human prisoners? This is a strange sight. Oh well, it is what it is. Just let it go. Don't let us be seen. I don't know where I'm going with any of this. None of it whatsoever. Uh, we're going to the third floor. Uh, I'm not interested, be gone. <laughs> Perfect. So either they say that we're like weird or they're uninterested in us. Perfect. At least these floors are, are small. Although I'm beginning to suspect that we're not going to find very much. Well, there's only two left. So, I mean, we might as well explore. I'm holding out. <laughs> nope. And nope. Okay. So, we already know where two of the chests are. Uh, the two black chests. Which we'll need for, uh, for a side quest we'll be doing soon. As long as Origin lies asleep, the Eternal Sword will belong to your Drasiel forever. Yes, yes. There is literally nothing. Alright, let's go use that exit and get out of here. Um, first floor. Back down we go. I am really sad that there was absolutely nothing. Right, that's where the black chest is. And I don't think there's anything over here. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. We can leave, uh... Magaya, was it? 
or no, Wagaya. Or Wigaya, I don't know. There's so many different ways I can think of to possibly pronounce it that I'm not gonna even bother. Alright. Um, I love that they leave the emergency exit unguarded, but I, it must take longer to get out this way. It simply seems too obvious. It looks like this is the emergency exit. Okay, let's go before anyone anyone sees us. No, it looks like they already found us. That's them. You're the ones that pretended to be the working uh, to be working for Lord Kratos. It's the chosen. The chosen Amana has escaped. Damn it! They're just gonna. They're. Uh, damn it! Let's just get out of here. Probably a good idea. We'll be back later. Okay, yeah. I love that it, they just couldn't go through the teleporter. <laughs> I mean, we're not done. We still have to escape. Alright. Okay. This is pretty big. More of these things. You're gonna re okay, that's a little bit different. So happy that I'm restocked on all my items. That was an attack to, to like the plant it used not all that long ago. Perfect murder. That's a great name. Okay. Uh, it's nice to be back in there. Healing circle. Even though it hasn't been that long since I did it. Anymore. It seems like Regal's uh, coming along pretty well at this point. I'm happy to be using somebody else. Yeah, still out, mate. All right. All right. Indeed. Holy robe. I believe rain. Yeah. Um, increases your intelligence by ten, but increases your defense by five. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually something I want her to wear. That's probably better for Sheena. Who can't wear it? Alrighty then. Yeah, I think for the silk robe, I'd be willing to do it. Okay. Okay, I think I accidentally went the right direction to start off. This place is a little confusing. At least we know we don't want to go in that direction. Okay, and I think that leads back to where I was. Okay, let's fight. I don't care for poison. I'll save the uh, unison attack for the game. That's the one that really needs the attack. Here we go! <laughs> Alright, so these guys actually have quite a bit of health, but nonetheless, um, that's good. Alright. So, now that that's done, that was just warming. let's move on, I guess. I don't know which way to go first. You're gonna regret uh, I think that they lead to the same place because they seem it seems to be giving me that kind of vibe. 
that, that, that those two doors lead to the same general area and then they can, the paths will eventually take them. Um, of course, that means that I still want to make sure that I'm, I'm going um, to my, as many places as I can because I want to get all the chests in this place. Because I've already got an equipment that is like an improvement on my current equipment. Even if it's something I don't want to specifically use for rain. Um, so I guess I'm choosing this way because I I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, one of these is different. There's murder and then there's the hammer knuckle. I did not realize that there were two giant versions. Giant, giant versions. Giant robots. Robots here. Now I do though. And the murder one is the one that has more HP. <laughs> So all of these attacks are awesome. That was just warming up. Yay, Regal leveled up. Sometimes I'm not sure. Oh, oops. Whoa, I'm floating. So this is weightlessness. What's that? Well, on the ground, the mana from Gnome, the summon spirit of Ur, gives rise to the effect known as gravity. The reason we fall to the ground from high places is because Gnome's power pulls at us. But this place is so far away from the ground that Gnome's power doesn't reach. So we float like this? He had an annoying attitude, but I guess Gnome's a pretty important summon spirit. Be careful and move slowly. Once you start moving, you won't stop until you hit something. Yahoo, this is fun! Ugh. <laughs> I'll be careful. Okay. Let's not do that yet. Um, looking at stars. Oh. Uh, I wonder how high up we are. We are inside of the Tower of Salvation, after all. Are we higher than the clouds? Yes. We can see the stars around us. We have to be higher than the clouds. Oh, yeah. It's so strange. Normally looking at the stars makes me feel safe, but now I feel scared. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'll never let Crucius have you. Yeah, I'm not scared as long as you're with me. Let's hurry back to the surface and get your illness card. Cured. Card. Your illness card. Wow. Alright. Let's uh, go back up here because we're not done yet. Um, we found the area where we need to go, so at least that much is, is uh, determined. But we first need to go in this direction. Wait, let's... This weightless stuff is a little hard to handle. Once you get used to it, it's pretty fun, Lloyd. Just imagine inviting a girl you like up here. You could have fun in all sorts of ways that, couldn't, that you couldn't normally. Like what? Playing tag or something? Uh, you're a really boring guy, a boring guy, Lloyd. I think I said boying the first time. I'm not 100% sure. That's the end. So I'm guessing we're gonna activate like gates or something as we go along. The reason why I'm not immediately um, going in that to other areas is because I don't know. I don't mind coming back here once it's unlocked. It's just I need to ensure that I am not spending tons of time um, coming back here later when I have found like important pieces of equipment that I can use since I'm currently not in the, the best spot. All right. Okay. Um, but we might as well explore in here because I think we already explored a good part. Oh, okay, apparently we need something first. Um, so let's see, because this is the way we went before. And then I turned around because I wasn't sure about how far I wanted to go into this area. But it looks like... Found lots of stuff already, but let's see. I don't care. For 
Yeah, if we can, um, hopefully finish this place. I mean, we're not going to finish it now because I actually want to end the episode shortly. But, uh, we're going to, we're going to finish uh, a lot of stuff really soon. Um, I might only do, like, three or four episodes and then we're going to start doing our episodes for, uh, the last few episodes. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we need to do a bunch today. But, I mean, that means I'm going to have to do a ton of recording this weekend. Which I'm fine with. Um, all that I mean is that it's going to be like a very busy weekend in terms of recording. I am still not sure. Like I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to play Devil May Cry 3 anymore. I I feel like there's a good reason why I haven't played it in so long. And I don't think... like I, It's not because I dislike the game. That's for sure. But I, it might be that it's just not the best game for me to play on here. I don't think it holds my attention as much as um, other games I'm playing right now. Um, but anyway, we'll figure Not that out. Um, and regardless, like, I'll be playing something on the weekends starting very soon. I just have to figure out some stuff for it, um, and then we'll, we'll play it. Uh, I'm probably gonna have a break between Zelda and when the Switch comes out, so I'll probably play something relatively short in between that time. Um, we'll see. Again, we'll see what happens. I'm excited for lots of different things either way. I just have to be careful not to play something incredibly long. This place is absolutely massive. I am genuinely surprised that we haven't run into an end, which we just ran into. Okay, blo Bloid? Wow, this is getting really weird. <laughs> I'm not speaking words anymore. Okay, that must be for Zealous, which I should equip anyway since I have it. Um, where is it? Laser blade. Wow, that's a big increase. Uh, Nagazuki, which sounds like it would be a Lloyd or. Uh, Sheena kind of weapon. Nope, it's not Sheena. I don't see it there. Or there. Apparently it is a Perseo weapon. pick up and why haven't I equipped these earlier don't know what it is. What is this item that we just picked up? Maybe it's like a form of armor or something? Um, it definitely sounded like a, like a form of equipment. So it's something that Sheena can wear. Let's put that on. Okay. Not a weapon then. <laughs> I skipped a bunch of these, so let's do some fighting. Not much of a special. Okay. So now we can go back to the weightless room. Probably should have waited. Uh, now that we're here and we've seen everything, I probably should have waited because I'm guessing all those gates are gonna open. Up. But regardless, like, I, I know where I've been already, um, and that I know stuff like that. Anyway, we should be ending the episode after this fight. Uh, I'll end off the episode there. Um, and then I'll head back to where it was going to be doing to see me, uh, traverse between those, these two points. There's not really much point to it. 
talk. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, right, door. Thank you, door. Um, let's see. If we head up here. Should be good. Yeah, right over here. Alright, so, so much for that. That took like a minute to do. <laughs> I guess it's longer when you're fighting enemies on the way there. Um, either way, we're going to end things off right here. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked the video. Either way, I encourage you to leave constructive criticism in the comments as it helps improve the quality of my videos and hopefully also the quality of your enjoyment. If you wish to see more of my content, you can click on the left side of the video for a previous episode, the right side of the video for either the next episode or a recommended video, and you can click on my channel icon and use something to subscribe to my channel for further notifications on my content. So thank you again, have a great day, and I'll see all of you very, very soon.